Swiss German artist Paul Klee is among the masters, among the greatest towering figures of modern art. An influential artist, an influential teacher, an influential writer that has cast a long shadow on many generations of artists that came after him. This exhibition, which shows the background collection from the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, gives our visitors an incredible opportunity to view 75 works by Paul Klee, predominantly on paper, that introduced the artist in his entire prolific career. We're starting with works from his Tunisian period, where he really had a breakthrough as an artist and found himself. Very colorful, vibrant, beautiful watercolors that informed his career for years to come. At the heart of the exhibition are Paul Klee's Bauhaus years from 1921 to 1931, which are very well represented in this exhibition. And they will allow us to see the variety and the productivity of these very pivotal years in which Klee not only painted and worked on his own work, but also taught at the Bauhaus as a very influential and inspiring teacher. In the 1930s, Paul Klee was branded a degenerate artist by the Nazis and was forced out of his teaching position. He then decided to move back to his native in Switzerland in Bern where he was working from then on out. In Switzerland the colors become more simplified, the brushwork broader and we're generally getting a sense that the personal hardship that he was enduring impacted also his art and his approach to his art as well as of course the reign of the Nazi regime that he was facing as was society at large. I think what's so wonderful about this particular collection is that we really are drawn into Paul Klee's world. It's a world of humor, it's a world of fantasy, it's magical and it's one that really you got to peel off the layers a little bit and sort of uh, study him very closely. Many of these works are very small um, so they really invite very close looking and some of the larger ones really border towards abstraction. So there's a great range, a great variety that really reflects on Klee and what he's done and obviously he was an artist who was instrumental for so many who were coming after him, who were looking to find a, a way of being a figural and an abstract painter at the same time. And I hope visitors will enjoy this journey into the world of one of the greatest humanist painters of the 20th century. Yeah.